That yes, winter is here and it gets a little bit more difficult to drag ourselves outdoors, but we've got a lot of incentive with some award-winning theatre coming our way. So Tenji is about to lay it down for us exactly what is headed our way for the month of June. Because of Youth Day, June stands out as a month to reflect upon and celebrate South Africa's journey towards our freedom. And thanks to some amazing authentic local productions, there's many ways to commemorate our history at the theatre this month. Music, bright costumes and history hot the spotlight at the Fugar Theatre as District 6 Ganala enjoys an extended run. But hurry, this production must close its doors for the last time on the 3rd of July. Also at the Fugat this month, the life and work of prolific novelist Alan Payton unravels in a production called A Voice I Cannot Silence. The play, which won three Naledi Awards, is on until the 25th of June. Alan sent for the letterbook. So the play is really about, about this iconic South African man who made a, a big commitment to uh, doing service to South Africa. His homeless child was a clever boy. Obviously, one had to do a fair amount of research. There's a lot of photographic and uh, material, also footage, that I could look at. Uh, and then, of course, the writing was a great key to it. Uh, so really, it was a basic exercise in acting uh, to uh, assimilate those facts. Uh, so for an actor, it was a wonderful challenge. Alan Payton's a massive part of the literary and political landscape in South Africa and I think the play has just been so beautifully put together in terms of uh, uh, being about his life story but not, not lionising him. Everyone who's seen it has been moved by it in some way. Yes, just the convention from a directing perspective, uh, the way that the story is unpacked, you know, narrative, the lights and just the, I don't want to give it away but it's, it's an amazing short story. Further north in Pretoria, the State Theatre hosts Johnny Boskak is Feeling Funny, an intriguing production about a misplaced white South African who's on the road looking for love, redemption and the quickest way out of Secunda. This production won the Naledi Award for Best Cutting Edge Production, which is clearly attributed to the fact that it's put together by the versatile and masterful duo that is Rosalind Mood Morris and Craig Morris. Catch Johnny Boskak from the 21st to the 25th of June. And finally at the Market Theatre, legendary theatre makers Paul Sabalepsi and Bobby Heaney tap into an imminent storm in post-94 South Africa in a production called Suddenly the Storm. It's on until the 3rd of July. It's the richest play I think I've ever directed in terms of the emotions of the characters, the richness of the characters, all of the issues that they deal with. It's exceptionally funny, it's incredibly entertaining. Um, but at the same time, it deals with some very strong South African issues. I can absolutely guarantee that anybody who comes to see this play will laugh their heads off, but they will also probably leave here crying. My stories are from the heartland. They're about us and about all the issues that concern us, all our hopes, dreams, wishes. And uh, that's, that's what this, this play is about and the people in the play. My character is a woman who's sort of um, a fish out of water in many aspects of the story. So she's got a lot of questions about where does she fit in in South Africa in 2016. She's quite strong, calculating, but then quite fragile at the same time, so it's interesting. So Chanel is a wonderfully complex, rich character to play. I think there are elements of her that are incredibly funny. Um, out of the pain comes great comedy. And then there are moments of a wonderful, wonderful pathos and truth. She's just wonderfully rich and complex. Salute to the youth of 1976 and all the people who continue to tell the stories of those who make this country great. As always, don't miss these thrilling productions. And that's it from your very own Expressa Drama Mama.